Hello, 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 hello. This is Tara from Tara Vapes, and I'm coming to you with a vlog. This is going to be more of a vlog than a review. I am going to give you this. I'm not going to make a separate video for this review. Um, I generally like to try to make sure I vape a e-liquid for at least a tank, because right away, early, early on in my vaping experience, in the first couple of weeks, I realized that things changed quickly as you vape them. Okay. This is the liquid that came in the sample box. And um, my last vlog, I actually was vaping it and I was okay. Um, I got to about a quarter of the tank through and I dumped that back in here. I was done. Don't like it. Initially, it's not bad. Initially, it tastes pretty good. It wasn't the actual taste of the vapor. It wasn't the actual anything like that. It was kind of nice. It was the aftertaste that made me absolutely crazy. So I went to my trusty Terrapin Vapor Blueberry Crunch after cleaning out my tank and kind of got that out of there, you know. I'm not going to vape it anymore. So that's that's my opinion on the Niquid. Let me give you the flavor. I don't have my spectacles anywhere. What if I have to read to you? I'm like, no. Oh, gosh, daybreak. No, I don't like it. So that, that's not the real top shelf. This is just going over here. So right now I'm vaping back on the first review that we did, the Classified Indulge. I'm in that bottle right now. It's almost gone, I think. Yeah, I've been vaping that. Update number one. I want you to be super excited for me because I am mind blown super fucking excited. This afternoon, it's cold and gross here today. It's just... I'm bone chilled cold. I know I live in Florida. Woe is me. It doesn't matter. I live in Florida. Um, I took a nap after dinner. I was like, let me take a nap. I need a nap. I'm self-employed, so I can pull that off. I got my business done for the day. I'm taking a nap, and in my dream that I'm dreaming, I have a silver box mod, and I'm building my first coil, and I'm about to drip and get the, the cotton wet and put my my um, top on and vape it and I woke up. I was woken up. So with that being said, I went on to um I went onto my Facebook. I had to do a couple more little things over there for my marketing and whatnot and I opened up a new tab and I get my notifications because I use Chrome that Vspot Vapes has uploaded their video announcing the winner to their IPv3. Now, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for the announcement for this. Um, these guys, they pulled it together. They had to be in separate places. So they set up, Josh and Joel set up the computer and the camera just right. So we got to see both of them. Let me have a vape. You know it's about to get good, right? So I'm like, what? I'm watching it. I swear to gosh, it must have been minutes after they posted it. I think there were 10 comments. I'm so happy I didn't scroll down. I just watched. And about... Ah, when, when Josh was showing Joel the name in the computer, I said, holy shit, that's me. Holy shit, they're going to say my name right now. They're going to say Tara Vapes won this fucking awesome mod. The IPv3 150 watt first edition. And guess what they did? They said my name. I won. I'm fucking stoked. You want to know a couple of reasons why I'm stoked? I'll tell you right now. Hold on a second. Since I've become a vapor, I have entered numerous contests. You know, um, buy ticket raffles down to, you know, comment, like this video, share, you know, come dance on our page, whatever I'm entering because I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade before I've got the money to upgrade. I want to upgrade. I'm doing lots of research. I want to upgrade. And, um, 
So that really blows my mind. I, I'm fucking stoked. I'm fucking psyched. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. So make sure you go over to Vspot Vapes on Twitter and YouTube. I'm going to put in the comments the winning video. You know, when they announce the winner so that you can see for yourself that I did win indeed. And their full review of the IPv3. Also, they have a website and it is vspotvapes.com. Go on over there. They, they got a blog and they have things for sale and they do great videos. One of the first um, vapor video channels that I watched, who was it? Um, Vaping Day. Again, she <laughs> she's the one that introduced me to these guys. Somehow, some way, I think she tweeted them and I was watching what she was tweeting and I was like, let me go check them out. So I'm super excited to add a something something to my collection. It's not a perfect box mod. However, Battery Life is freaking out. I've, I think I've watched every review available on YouTube about this box mod. And I am a member of the uh, Vaping Underground, and I go in there and ask my questions, and those guys are so awesome. People jump on answering them for me. And um, also, Josh and Joel on their vspotvapes.com, they have a Ask Me Questions you know, section on their blog where is I saw it. I saw it. Oh, it's a banner. That's why I'm ignoring it. Okay. Right underneath their top banner is questions and requests go. You just click on over there and it's gonna open up into a new page. And it's gonna you're gonna be able to send them an email and all that stuff and ask them whatever question you've got. So if you've got questions, you can ask them or you can join a forum like the Vapors or Vaping Underground, which I really like a lot. I've had a lot of help from those guys. Anyway, what else is next? My mom got um, vape mail today. She's super stoked. She had ordered a, a twist battery to, because her eye taste click, there's nothing wrong with that battery. However, it doesn't accept regular you know, starter clear misers on it. And her tank sucks. That bullshit tank sucks. So we hate that tank. We hate that tank. So she needs something to back up where she could put things on it, you know, like that we have. And uh, she got it. She loves it. It's super nice and it's thin. It's um, it's not like a metal feel. It's like a neoprene feel. It's very nice. She's really excited about that. What else, guys? That's pretty much the uh, the gist of it here. Um, if you have any tips on batteries, exactly what kinds I should be getting, or anything like that for this awesome IPV, it's it takes 18 650 20 amp. Okay, um, that's one thing I want to make sure that I am purchasing the correct batteries for that. Uh, what else? I know don't put any volt, 9 volt charger in there. I know that. I know that the sensor on the top is disabled. Um, I know that the charger has got to be charged, you know, that you have to charge your batteries, marry them, alternate them, and have another set ready to go. But from what I understand, the battery life on this is crazy. So I'm really excited about that. There was something else. Oh! Let me have a sip of my coffee now. I'm getting a little bit of a sneeze. I'm not liking that. I've been sneezing today. I ordered my first bottle of Criminis. I went to the overdose section and I built my own flavor. So I ordered strawberry cheesecake with graham cracker. No extra shots. 60 milliliter bottle. Um, crim Crimis. I, I always want to call them Criminis. I don't know why. Crimis. Dr. Crimis is notorious for you get it. Awesome price, excellent, excellent vapor from every everybody I've seen. They've got great reviews. I haven't reviewed them yet at all. However, you want to make sure you get them before you run out because it's a two night uncapped and a four day capped out of the sun, but not in a dark place, steep time. Okay, so doc, Dr. Crimes is not for the Team No Steep crew. However, I haven't found anybody that's pissed off about them at all. 
So I'm stoked about that because um, I know that I need to get larger sizes. However, I'm a vapor on a budget in a big way. So, you know, how you doing? Super excited. My daughter's birthday's coming and I can't wait till she gets her present because she's getting a vaping present. She's already gotten her other presents that were non-vaping related. So we will be talking about other liquids. And um, I'm super excited about that. I will be, I'm really excited about that. Really excited. So anyway, that's, I think that's about it. Uh, a no-go on the liquid for me, my taste buds. Those are my taste buds. Listen guys, all e-liquid reviews, no matter who's giving you the review, that's total opinion. It has nothing to do with nothing. It's more about, you know, just getting an idea of what something tastes like. And if you start to get to know a YouTube user, you may be able to um, decide whether or not your taste buds are similar. I'm also brand new. I quit smoking on December 3rd. Yes. I'm like, it's December 3rd. It's been a while already. And um, I'm just, my taste buds are just waking up. They're just waking up. So something that I do like now or don't like now, I might not love in six months or so. Or I might love in six months or so. Okay? That's that's one thing. I'm terrified of vapor's tongue where I lose taste. I'm terrified of that. I don't know why. I think it's funny that I dream about vaping and dream about building coils. I'm not even interested in building coils. I don't want to do it right now. Hmm. What tank do you suggest I shall put down there? I know I can use the, the mini, but I'll be using it only as far as the mini can be used at about 12 watts. I'm thinking my first step should be the Aspire. The Kanger is gorgeous. I love the red. I love everything about it. The big giant crazy thing and 25 milliliters on top of that, that box mod would be awesome. However, there's a couple things I don't really dig about it. And I don't even know. I've never even touched it. I'm thinking I'll just go with an Aspire Atlantis for the beginning. However, that Delta II is looking like something I'm really going to enjoy. So I haven't seen anybody have a problem with that one at all, except for maybe just stylistically. You know, just not the way they look. Um, but the the Kager sub ohm. I, I oh I'm I'm a I'm a marketer, and I hate it when people do little shady shits. And making the twenty five milliliter, to me, is like oh okay so we've got to have that because we've got to have a brand new thing and this awesome thing and you can rebuild and it has an RDA part and a regular coil part and that's awesome and. You know, it's even kind of sexy, and it's got really thick glass, and people love the flavor on it, but the cloud producing comes from the Atlantis, blah, blah, blah. And then, boom, I've already seen, you know, like snapshots of a 22 milliliter sub ohm tank coming out. Why? That's deceptive to me. I don't like that. Maybe that's why my, my problem is, maybe that's my thing. I like authenticity, and, you know, so... Let's go with the Joy Tech, a Delta II when it comes out. But first things first, it is available out there. I've seen it on some websites. Um, but I think I'm, I'm going to go with the Atlantis first. Just first. And I think um, it's going to be exciting to watch me vape at higher wattages. Indeed. Um, for, but anyway, I, I get. I don't know how long this is. I'm not looking at myself, so I have no idea what kind of these faces I'm making. I'm just really excited about winning that contest. I really, really wanted to win that contest and totally manifested that contest winning. I'm totally excited about it. Totally stoked. Totally stoked. The safety features and the regulation in that box is just right for me. I'm never going to be somebody that vapes at even 70 watts, I'm sure. However, going higher with something with all that regulation on it is a really good idea. It's really awesome and there's always 
when it comes to that little hole in the little sensor that's not that they don't work or they're not supposed to be working and they're, they're they've disabled them you know there's always wraps and stuff you can put on it if it bothers you to look at it that way you know what i'm saying but i think that the second shipment of that particular mod doesn't have those two things on it but i couldn't tell you i'm not sure i don't care because that's not the one i'm getting okay i'm getting the one with the sensor that doesn't work and the hole for the nine volt that you cannot use okay i'm going to do the breakdown and and tell you what i think about it i mean you've probably watched enough videos on the inside outs of it i'm just going to come at you from a super beginner way i'm going to tell you exactly what batteries i purchase what charger i get what tank i'm using and exactly how to start low and go to taste and you don't have to go further than that and all that fun stuff but there's a lot of videos out there. I highly suggest you go out there. But the first things first, go see V-Spot Vapes video review on the IP3 150 watt box mod. It's awesome. And that's exactly the same mod that you look at in that video that's coming to my house. And I'm fucking stoked about it. So there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go. I have nothing else to say. I got Krimis on the way. I got box mod on the way. I got some battery shopping and tank shopping to do, and uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. I'm excited. I'll see y'all later. Now I have to go back and look so I can press the button. Let me blow some more vape fumes, whatever, vape clouds. <laughs>